Hi guys, this video is to show you how to do your GPA on Google Sheets. Here's Moodle. I posted this in week 8. So over here, by the way guys, you can click on this. Navigate to week 8. Here is the GPA Google Sheet. Um, I am not going to do anything until I make a copy and notice that I am logged in to my Google account. You will need to log in and then you can make a copy. Always name your copy with your name. And hit OK. Alright, so notice that the, this person's grades are already completed. Math 98, they got a B. A B is a 3. Econ 104, they got a A, C, okay. So the method is to click in this cell, and we want it to be 3 times 5. So I type equals B2 times C2, because I want to do 3 times 15, 5 and get 15. Once I've got that, I can click back into this cell once hover in the corner for the black plus, pull it down almost all the way, and that means that if I go into this cell and look, the formula is equals b5 times c5, so it is multiplying every single time to get the grade points for each class. Now I need the total, so equals, and students pointed out to me that the formula pops right up, suggested. That's exactly what I want, so I can just click on that, or I can type sum d2 colon d5, close parentheses, and enter, and it does the total for that column. And now I can do the same thing here, equals, sure enough it suggests the sum, so why not? Hit enter, and we have the total. And now I want to do the GPA. GPA is the total grade points divided by total credits. So in here I type equals, now I can't see what cells I'm talking about, so I'm going to close this. I want to do equals D6 divided by C6, and that should give it to me. And it keeps a lot of decimal places. If I don't want that many, I can just tell it to reduce the number until I'm down to two decimal places. Okay, so down here you can do your own. And by the way, former credits, let's say you've earned a bunch of credits already. Let's say you currently have 32 credits. Whoops, 32 credits. And right now your GPA for those credits was 2.96. And this term you're taking Math 98, you're hoping for a B. That's a five credit class. And let's say you also have a writing class. And you're also hoping for, let's say you're hoping for an A in the writing class. And that's a four credit class. So you could calculate your GPA with all those old credits, which really just looks like a really big class of 32 credits. Um, so same thing here, equals, this time it's going to be B15 times C15. B15 times C15, enter. And then I'm just going to copy this down here, get my total, and this time it's not suggesting, so I'll just tell it what to do. X out of here so I can see, D15 colon D17, enter. And I really want to do the same thing in this column, I just want to add it up, so I go get my black plus and I just drag it sideways and see if that's going to work. Does that look like it worked? Yep, I think that's the total there. So again, here equals D19 over C19. Enter. Okay, now you're going to have a GPA of 3.06. So that's how you do your GPA on this Google Sheet that I saved for you.